guys, I'm Taranik from Havago. I'm Michael from Unagi. And today we're doing a video review of the Unagi Model 1. We wanted to create a scooter that was the perfect balance of style, weight, and performance. So that plays into the specs. So if we take a look here, let's start at the top. We have a magnesium handlebar, a carbon fiber stem, magnesium fork, and a solid aluminum deck to help us achieve the weight. Performance, we have dual motors, so a motor front and rear for a total of 450 watt. Um, that helps you get up to speed quickly, climb hills easily. We have regen braking, which we'll go into. Um, we also have a little emergency brake on the back, on the rear fender. Uh, you can expect about a 12 mile range in dual motor mode. You can actually switch to single motor mode and get a little bit further range out of it. I, I took it out for a spin here in downtown Los Angeles and it was really fun. So my first encounter with Unagi was on uh, with, with their Kickstarter uh, and uh, the video looked really sleek and uh, the, you know, the design looked uh, amazing, but it looked almost too sleek for city use. It was almost like you didn't want anything to happen. It looked plasticky. Um, but as, as you physically started riding it and you kind of tapped on the materials, you started realizing that, you know, it's not plastic, it's actually magnesium, aluminum, etc. As I started test riding it, I felt, I felt that it was actually very well built. Um, so that initial reaction was, was kind of misguided. My favorite thing on this scooter was actually the regenerative braking. So um, it's probably the best regenerative braking I've test ridden on, on a scooter. Um, both motors help you stop incredibly quickly, so much so that you actually have to kind of lean backwards because if, if you're leaning forwards, you can actually kind of go over the handlebars. Um, but as, as you start riding it, that becomes intuitive. And you kind of really want that uh, immediate stopping power because in city streets, car pulls in front of you or somebody um, you know walks out in front of you. You really want that ability to stop very, very quickly. Another thing about regenerative braking is you recapture that energy and you're not actually doing any wear and tear on physical brakes. This is all in the motors. The motors are actually doing the heavy lifting of the braking. The folding mechanism is probably, again, one of the easiest I've seen on a scooter. You just simply um, you do this and it folds. Maybe you can talk about yeah, and the... it. Yeah, and it clicks right into place. This is a, a patented folding mechanism that we designed. Um, so as soon as you fold it down, it's one click. It clicks into place and you can pick it right up. So again, talking about weight being a factor here, the dual motor actually weighs only about 24 pounds. Super easy to pick up. And pulls right back up into place quickly. That's really helpful, like if you're in an urban situation and you're coming up to the subway and you have a lot of people walking behind you, yeah. it's, it's important to be able to fold it quickly and kind of keep the pace so you're not holding a crowd up. Yeah. It's, it's nice. Yeah. Um, I, I personally do it all the time, so I know how important that is. Um, and then you were bringing up maintenance before with the brakes. Um, the other thing that we designed was actually our own custom tires. Yeah. Um, so it's a no maintenance tire. It's no air, so you're never going to get a flat. But they do have it's solid rubber with cutouts, so that's going to give you a little bit of suspension, a little bit of cushion, so it's not just a one solid rubber tire. Um, so that's really important too. So you're, every time you go to your scooter, it's ready to roll. You don't have to worry about putting air in your tires. Yeah, yeah. So this is actually the perfect kind of one to three, even four mile uh, range scooter. If your uh, commute is a little uh, longer, then you might want to look at something with more suspension, or even an, uh, an e-bike or something like that. Um, but if you're, you know, living it near uh, the bus stop uh, or uh, tr transit, or if you're on a university campus, or if you live close to work, and you have, uh, you know, short distances to go, the fact that this is very light and has no maintenance um, is makes it a very, very, very good scooter for these short uh, urban trips. Thank you. And it actually comes in four colors. So this is our cosmic blue. Um, we use an autumn autumn paint, um, so it's really really nice, it's durable nice. paint. Yeah. So maybe you heard it here first, but we also have a new color coming out in a couple of months. We're likely going to be doing a red. Nice. Uh, which I think would be kind of cool for those that really want to stand out. How much is the price? Yeah. Uh, the dual motor retails for nine ninety. Uh, US. Uh, you can get a single motor version as well and it retails for $840. Awesome. Yep. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.